Life is changing in one Everett neighborhood where the houses are sinking. Today, engineers went in to see how safe things are. North Bureau Chief Jake Wittenberg is live in the Valley View neighborhood with a look. So, Jake, how bad is it? Well, Mimi, take a look for yourself here. This house, which we are standing in front of, is literally ripping up off of its foundation. If you sit here long enough, which we have, you can hear some cracking noises coming from the inside. People are just waiting for this to topple over. This is one of the worst of three properties that have received property damage here, and no one can do anything about it. Between the splintered wood... It's just amazing how... Fast, it's going. And the obvious tilting. And in the last few days, it's going very fast. This house on Burl Place is a sight to behold. The big question is will it topple over? You just go to sleep at night and wonder if it's going to be here in the morning. John Vicente owns the house. So it's really moved a lot. And says it started moving about five years ago. He moved out a month ago when it really started tilting. I'm figuring probably once it reaches 45% tilt, then it'll just slowly tear itself down. The city put a red tag on his front door warning people to stay away. Two other damaged properties get a yellow tag for caution. They all sit along the top of this ravine, where homeowners say the ground has been shifting a lot in the past few weeks, especially when excess rainwater drains through the neighborhood. City engineers are taking measurements and keeping a close eye on the problem. The ground sank several feet in this backyard, and at Rob Lund's house, two doors down, this the whole hillside in a big chunk is sliding. The ground is ripping away from his foundation and taking his back patio with it. That's all happened since the 21st of January. I have engineers, geotechs, attorneys, all kinds of people involved right now. And if we don't do something about this, it's just, it'll get worse. Vicente can't see how things can get much worse. My attitude is, what am I going to do about it? You know, there's nothing I can do. I'm stuck. Yeah, and he says he originally moved here mostly because of the view, and it is a good view from this location, but he is living in a temporary apartment now. Now the city says it's up to the individual homeowners to take care of these problems. They can only warn people about the safety. So in the meantime, Vicente is hoping to get some disaster assistance from FEMA. He hopes to hear about that soon. But in the meantime, if he doesn't get that money, he says he will have to foreclose. Reporting live in Everett, North Bureau Chief Jake Wittenberg, King 5 News. Thank you, Jake.